Coming up in this episode, we explore the amazing Marlborough Sounds. Wow, what an anchorage. So still here. And can we find somewhere safe for the night? Windy, but... Uh... The Marlborough Sounds are an extensive network of sea drowned valleys at the northern end of South Island of New Zealand. The sounds were created by a combination of land subsidence and rising sea levels and are connected to Cook Strait at the northeast extreme. The sounds were extensively travelled and partly inhabited by Maori groups before the coming of the Europeans using the sounds as shelter from bad weather. The main channels of the Marlborough Sounds have calm water and are popular for sailing. Following on from last week's episode, we moved from the amazing Oyster Bay and motor sailed our way to the town of Picton. This is the beautiful, very touristy town of Picton. The reason it's so touristy is because they have cruise ships here, sometimes two at a time, increasing the population by 6,000 people. We were wondering why we were so slow on the way around. That's the reason. Because we got a load of seaweed around the prop. So Adam's in said, he doesn't mind going in. Did I? Uh. Oh, that's it. Fantastic. Old harpoon from the whaling days. Look at it. Oh, it's cool, isn't it? Post this parcel back to the shops where we bought it from, Auckland. I think we're gonna. It's dead. This town the other day was rammed with how many? 4,000 people? 6,000. From the cruise ships that are here, but it's dead at the moment. It is Monday morning. I know there's a cruise ship coming in. Is it Monday morning? It is. Oh, we're gonna get some provisions and uh, we've got two hours on the dock, and that's it. And then we've got to get away then. We've got to decide where we're going to go. First things first, uh, pie time this morning. I'm having a, a smoked barbecue brisket pie. And we're going to share some chalky caramel. What about my pie? And a can of Coke. Well, people are not interested in my pie then. Go on, what's your pie then? Angus steak and cheese. I don't know, you had a smoked brisket. Yeah. Thanks. You can eat this and then we're going to start provisioning. it. The reason we're bagging everything up is to save space in the fridge. Because you keep everything in these packets, it took a massive amount of space. But if you bag everything up, the packet of sausages gets that small. You know, you can fit double the amount of meat in the fridge. The freezer. The freezer. Get a right look. It means we can carry a lot over the week of food, isn't it? Yeah, it's the game changer. That freezer with the lithium, starlink and all the freezer. It's just changed everything. Lots of leaky wicker food in there. And the cheese, got lots of cheese. Yeah. Got the inboard and the stuff. <laughs> Put the beer. 
uh, Adam's drawn the short straw this occasion to do the prop. I will do it next term. Well, yeah, that's going to be cold. Especially with the wax heat on. I don't fancy going in, do you? No. If takes it so coolly, I'd be panicking. Got it. Was it even on, on there? Yeah, see, we got around it. Tight, it was. Tight? Yeah. Let's go and mug to somewhere. We're going to the Bay of Many Bays. So we're just leaving Picton. Excuse my hand reaching across. There's Picton. We're just leaving there now. And we're off to the Bay of Many Coves, which is here. They have many coves. We're going to anchor somewhere up in there or around there and there. The reason why we're going there because I think it's the Queen Charlotte track runs along the top here and past it. It's good access to yeah, good walking and views and bits and pieces. It's eight miles to here. Um, the, I do the wind anyway. The wind is going to be coming in from this direction this afternoon, a northeasterly. Uh, around 10 to 25 knot gusts, so quite good wind. So as soon as we get out of here, we should be able to sail. And as you can see, the tide arrow as well. We've got a tide with us. Uh, 1.9 knots with us now, which is fantastic. So we'll get down there in no time at all. So did the motor sail down as there's five knots of wind. We've got to pull you know, out. We're getting a little bit of heel and it's giving us at least a knot of extra speed. These marble sounds are an absolutely amazing place. Beautiful. Look at that, Luke Rock. Oh, I am so pleased. I've actually got a rock named after me. That <laughs> post over there marks Luke Rock. I'm in the Marble Sounds, Ed. Yes, Luke Rock, well I done, I feel Luke. really proud. Congratulations. I feel very proud that they've named Rock after me. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Got for tea. Carrots, mashed potato, chicken. You don't tell Andrew though. Look at that. If you also we don't eat healthy. This is beautiful. Better than that. We've got the cheese. Yeah, we did. I can't believe we did that. So wrong with me.
Good morning, all. Wow, what an anchorage. So still here. All these are pretty much holiday homes, you can see up there. We only saw two lights on last night. One in the house there, and one in the house over there. We've been on land today, went running, didn't we, Ed? Yeah, hiked 900 feet up there, and then ran five miles on the trails, and came back down. About halfway up, do you think? Well, three quarters. Hard. Hard work. Yeah. And uh, 900 feet to climb. Top five miles we're going to run. And then go back down again. But it's steep. I'll put you on a level surface. It's so hard to see the Currently definition. It's raging the camera. No. <laughs> Just all the way up. Made it to the top. That's the view, 900 feet. Not bad, is it? That one's down there. Oh, you can just about see her. Down there. Yeah, it's a nice view. Cool. Now we're going to have a fresh water cold shower. Oh. We just noticed this, a shower here, so we're going to utilize it. No, it's heated. Is it heated? Yeah, it's boiling. It can't be heard. Is it that cold? believe how this feels like we're living amongst nature and it's like this is total wilderness it's amazing i love it oh, yeah. having a shower outside <laughs> the the clothes. oh incredible really incredible yeah it's bonkers isn't it i wonder why people we are moving from this beautiful, beautiful anchorage here where we've been for two days for two reasons. Uh, tonight they're predicting 40 knots from the south, and we need a little bit more protection than where we are now. And second reason is tomorrow morning we're leaving out of the Melbourne Sound, going around the point, and then going to go through French Pass. So we're going out into Cook Strait again. So we need to reposition ourselves a bit closer to the point so we get an easier go of it tomorrow. We're just heading into the anchorage for tomorrow and there's mooring balls in there because I checked a really good website. It's called the Marble Sounds Moorings and it gives you all the moorings in the whole Marble Sounds. So we're going to grab a mooring ball in there, but we're going to put the anchor alarm on there. We just had a gust of 30 knots, so it's going to be a windy old day. We're not getting off the book today, I don't think. Yeah, it is. Pick it up. We've decided to go into here because it's good protection from the north and the south. The whist when the whist the when the rigging whistles like that, it is a force five. Oh, yeah, it went crazy then. Oh, like 50 50 knots. Oh, dear. Might not be a 
good place. Yeah. I'm nervous. Yeah. Coming in here with the engine. Mixing on this corner. Yeah, it's kind of like racing around this corner here. Yeah, I like it. No. from over there, like coming off the land there. Yeah. Just whizzing around the corner. There's one moor in there, it's way too close to the cliff for us. And this guy beat us to it on that moor in there. I wouldn't be safe anyway. I don't feel like it's a good but place. So windy. It's a Lee Shore. Lee Shore with 20 knots. I don't I wouldn't like to have more in there. Always oh, got comfortable sleeping here. No way. Blowing right in. We're going to go out to the other side of this, it's a big sandy bay, we're going to anchor and put a lot of chain out, I think we're safer there. Yeah, much safer there, sandy bay. The wind is coming that direction, like that. So we'll be safer there, it's whizzing around here. It's whizzing around here, the wind is coming straight in. rather be anchored over there on the sand with all, with our rock and a, a lot to chain down, room to swing than be on a mooring close to the rocks there. Where we came from earlier, it's a white house out there now. It's had 42.5 knot gust from over there. Dinghy nearly took off. Oh, this is scary. We shouldn't have come out, I don't know. We're going around there. Does that be? It's okay on there. I think yeah. it will be. But yeah, you know. it'll be okay in there, look. Wow, I see it coming across the sea. We anchored in We're about 53 meters of chain on the floor. The wind's coming directly from over there. So, and we're anchored in about three and a half meters of depth of water. So, the, the scope we've got is huge. Got a new rocket anchor on there, so we ain't going anywhere. Summer's going through there, through onto the Samson post. All into the rock. Here's a gust. Tomorrow we're leaving for a passage, I think it's about 
20, 24 miles around. 28. 28 miles out there around the peninsula a bit. I'll have to show you on the charts and then down to over there to the other sounds. Yeah, you're bleeding already. I know it's rubbish. I hate it. Why don't you buy another? Yeah. Oh. Breathing though. That's a warm up. Oh, I've got a nice and calm now. Well, I'll chain up for nothing. It's a lot better inside here than it was coming in. But Monday is the main day as the system comes in. Now, oh, yesterday the modelling showed yeah. the centre well south of New Zealand. Yeah. Today's modelling right, shows what we uh, pictured just a couple of days ago for you on Monday, showing the stormy system coming in, but the severe gale side of it, for now anyway, looks to be further down the country. Good. Yeah, it's going to be wet and windy. To find somewhere to shelter from that. Yeah. The problem is where we're going, it's very deep. So we've got to find moorings, good moorings in good protection. Unless we go right down into the sounds, like 20 miles deep into the sounds when it shallows up into the mud. Mm. Sail down there. Keep an eye on that, so it could be 50, 60 knots, especially if it's coming down the mountainside. It could be accelerating 70, 80 knots down there, couldn't it? Just like Ian's doing today. Mm. Gusts. Making our way down the beautiful coastline, down the Malba Sounds. If you enjoyed this episode, please remember to give us a thumbs up, a like and share this amazing adventure. Thank you to all our amazing club members. Without you, this amazing adventure would not be possible and we wouldn't be in amazing places like this.